I cannot believe that you told him about this up. And that you're playing along with his psychosis. I've seen he was gonna kill you. I bought us time. I have an idea. You can just keep him busy and wait for the signal. Wait, what's the signal? Right, you join! So, Mr. Scarface and I have discussed our options. And the submarine sounds like a good plan. And since we'll need the smart one to build this hay burner, he can keep sucking air. But Penguin ain't so lucky. Do it, Pen! Ventilate that mook! I'm so sorry, Mr. Cobblepot. I wish things would have turned out differently. Arthur, I want you to listen to what I'm saying. You accuse me of manipulating you, but what about him? I never asked you to kill anybody. That is true. Hey. Think of everything that we went through together. Sophia Falcone getting cut off from the mainland, starving. You mean Ten was starving? Fighting for scraps while your dog ate steak. I welcomed you into my home. And yes, I was not a good friend to you or to anyone. It's why I'm alone. But I saw you for what you are, and I value that. <laughs> that must be worth something. Sauce. You're a liar and a thief. All you do is take, take, take. And you never give anything. You work me to the bone, force me to be your puppet. Well, no more. You hear me? No more. Mr. Cobblepot, you freed me. How can I ever thank you? Where did you do that? He wasn't the threat, the dummy was Oswald, the Oswald, I accept you for the person that you are. Just as you accept me for the cold logician that I am. That's why this friendship is great. And as friends, I think we can both agree that that lunatic had to be stopped. <laughs> Perhaps, Edward, we really are meant for each other. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>